and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. Today, we're going to be going over the 8 a.m. Blitz offer. Sorry, I'm a little bit late on this video. I overslept a little bit. Long day yesterday, guys. I did go to the Giants Packers game. If you guys don't already know, I got handed some game worn equipment. I was I had front row seats in the end zone, so when the Packers I ended up beating my Giants, they were walking out, and on the way out, Devontae Adams handed up. Well, it was a mixture. I forgot which equipment was from who, but it was Devontae Adams, Jair Alexander, and Tremont Williams. We got a mixture of a glove, an arm sleeve, and a armband. I actually got all three right here. I'm gonna show you, show a few you guys today. Yeah, we got a glove, sweaty armband, sweaty arm sleeve. Game worn stuff, really, really cool, honestly, guys. I was super hyped. That's going up in a frame or something, because that, that's pretty awesome. I wish I could have got it to sign up for us, but I have a video of all of it actually, which maybe if you guys ever want, so I can show you guys all of that. But guys, that is about it for that. Super exciting stuff yesterday. Happy I went. Sorry I couldn't get you guys videos. But guys, before we get into this ADM Blitz offer stuff, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noni bell, comment down below. Make sure to smash that like button, guys. I know I missed the day. Probably a little rusty now, first time in a while I didn't really post. But it was worth it, definitely was, guys. So let's get back in the groove. You guys still showed crazy support yesterday. But yeah, let's keep it up. So let's get into this video. So let's go over to store. So for 8 a.m., you know, you know the usual. We got packs, we got players, and that should be the bulk of it. Today is the last day of the Blitz, as you guys can see. We get the final bundle today at noon at 12. That will be the final bundle drop, which will be the Game Changer Clutch and Clutch and Blitz. We still have this Harvest bundle out. That's pretty much it. We got the players, the final players today at 8 p.m., and then the final packs are today as well so that pretty much wraps up all the coolness of blitz the last final thing is going to be dalvin cook which would be pretty cool but let's get into the players so the 89 overall players you guys today are jerome baker and the 92 is justin reed now you guys might need to do these if you guys are missing a few last tickets for lamar jackson this would be pretty beneficial to you guys to get this done because this is the final day after this there's no more master tickets so if you're that close or kind of close just go for it finish it up because it's not it's gonna be really dumb if you guys have like a 120 tickets and you miss it by five and you don't have to do all the other tickets you quick sell them obviously but that doesn't get the job done you really want to make sure that you get your lamar cj2k if you're close already but jerome baker 89 overall looks pretty solid so does just three we're gonna go over to the auction block in a second show you guys all their stats now for 2300 jerome baker is a decent buy for 6000 just three isn't horrible his stats are pretty pretty good and he does appear to be Right in line with all the other 92 to 6,000. So that's Dalvin Cook or him. You guys have your final 6,000. Go whatever you like. Justin Reed's solid. So is Dalvin's going to be solid too. So it's kind of up to you guys there. Let's head over to the auction block and check them out. And then we'll come back and show you guys all the packs and stuff too. But I'm personally excited, guys. By the way, today expect I'm going to give you guys my Centennial Pack video. As well as my Series Redux Fantasy Pack video. I have not opened anything up yet. As far as the re Redux Packs or anything. So those I still have sitting there. I'm going to do those guys for you. I'm going to do that for you guys, I should say. But let's go check out the 89 overall Jerome Baker. Looked pretty solid when I saw stats initially when we first reviewed it. I can't imagine unless I saw it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I was liking him. Let's go check him out right there. Jerome Baker, 70, 89 overall. Looks like he's 72k. Yeah, 72k. Not a bad price. So there's a lot outside linebacker. He's got 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 tackle, 84 play rank, 81 block shit. So the reason this card was okay was his athletic his athleticism. If he did not have that athleticism, I would have. Had to have said that he was not great at all. 70 zone. And the zone was better. I'd like him a lot more. But he can't really pass rush. He is a decent run stuffer. But he's really fast. So I can't exactly say he's horrible. He was solid. He's 89 overall. I mean, what else can you expect? If the zone was a little bit better, I would have definitely liked this card. Decent buy. 6 foot 2. Nothing too great. But he's solid with that speed. I mean, any any linebacker with an 88 plus speed has got to be considered at least decent, right? So next, let's go check out Justin Reed. Now, I do remember this card stat specifically, and he was looking pretty great when he first had come out. When I first saw stats on the Blitz reveal, let's see what he's looking like. He's got he's six foot one, 91 speed, 90 XL. So let's compare, let's compare, let's compare him to Brian Dawkins. And 91 speed, 90 XL is really, really solid. Definitely an upgrade over most of the safety speed wise in this game so far this year. But he obviously lacks in other places, but it doesn't exactly show too much because he has good athleticism and great height. The tackle 79, that's a little bit low. Especially a free safety considering with stretch this year. I feel like when I had Earl Thomas with the bad tackle and everything, he'd always come in or bad hit stick too, bad head power, and he'd always get destroyed by running backs. Now, the play rec, 89 solid. You put lockdown on him, he'll be just fine. And he can be powered up, obviously. 
Now, the Pursuit's great also because Powered Up and Chemed Up, he's going to hit 90 on there. Man Coverage is great because when you blitz a lot this year, that's going to definitely be a good... What's the word for it? A good attribute to have is a good man, like, especially for blitzing this year. Because they only get manned up on guys like tight ends and halfbacks, so that, that 82 man will be just enough for those guys. Maybe not a top-tier receiver, but that'll be fine. 90 zone, solid zone, powered up and chemed up, definitely going to be solid. The hit power is a little low, but for a free safety, sometimes if they at least just have some kind of hit power, I can't really complain, because some guys like Earl Thomas have no hit power. And I guess his uh, hit power is decent, but I prefer more yes. On a, on a Texans team team, this guy's probably really solid on certain teams, but... I think he's a great card. Would I buy him? Buy him. Just because the hit power is too low for me. The tackle is a little low. And I want like a, I, the next free safety upgrade from Brian Dawkins. This guy's going to have to be phenomenal. That's kind of like the, the route I'm going towards when it comes to making my next team or making my next, buy my next batch of players. So, so far, today's looking like a good day though. We still got Dalvin Cooks come out and whoever the other guy was. So that's still going to be pretty solid. These guys are solid. We've had, had worse, we've had worse cards, trust me. These are not that bad. As a whole, a lot of the APM Blitz players were not too bad. They all had some redeeming qualities, whether or not it be, was just the speed or a zone. They always had something there. Some to always back them up a little bit so they weren't horrible, which is great because I've seen flashback cards that have literally nothing. Like, there's not one attribute to them that makes me look like, wow, this card's pretty decent. Well, I have to think about it. But these cards, pretty well-rounded overall. Definitely a fan. The Blitz promo wasn't the best, right? It wasn't, it wasn't like, whoa, this promo was to die for. But they give me some good players. Now, the only sad thing is I didn't really want to pick up many of these players. The only ones I really want to pick up are Lane Johnson and Lamar Jackson. Those are the only two Blitz players that I really plan to pick up. And Lane's just because I need a, re a uh, right tackle. If they didn't drop Lane, I probably wouldn't have picked up a single card from the Blitz besides Lamar. So that's kind of where I'm at as far as Madden goes. But it is what it is. It was definitely a fun time. Good time for I pulled some views. Grew the channel a little bit. Definitely Blitz was fun for all of us in that sense. But very money heavy. Oh, we did get the Centennial packs and the Redux packs. So some of the packs were kind of fun, so I'll give them that. Now the Blitz packs for today... Is the Blitz All Pro Pack, which I'll actually probably open for you guys right here on the channel because I have some Blitz bullets left over, and it does not appear as if I can use them on anything else, unless I use them on the Color Rush, which would be at 8 p.m. So do I want to risk that if I won't be home? Should I? No, I'll open some All Pro Packs for you guys. I have the Blitz bullets. Let's open them up. Let's do it. Who cares about the Color Rush jersey? Let's see what we can pull. All Pro Packs. Oh, I get some master. I get some Blitz master tickets. All right. Start the first All Pro Pack. See what we can pull. We get a silver. I've been opening these in a while. What is it? Three guaranteed golds, a gold. JK Scott. 79 Adam Butler. Nothing there. A gold and another gold. Alright. It's about open packs. So we have another one. I'll probably save a little bit of these though for the for uh what's it called? The color rush. I think I actually do want to open up at least one color rush. Pick a nice new jersey for myself in case. Did I open it? Oh, okay. Well, I just spent it all. I thought it didn't open. Whatever. All right, let's see what we can get. And these all pro packs. Gold card, Baker Mayfield. Johnny Munt. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the most feared. You get most feared still? Mutt Hero. That was interesting. So a Mutt Hero and a most feared pool. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, it opened up this. Where's my other all pro pack? Oh, Madden. All right, let's head on down to the old open packs. You guys are about to see a ton of packs right here, so disregard all that. There's a lot of packs right open for you guys on camera. Don't worry. You guys will see all these in due time. Don't worry. That is a pack opening save for the Christmas promo. Don't mind me. Gold card, Michael Davis. Nothing there. Team of the week. What do we get? 82 Mark Andrews. Okay, that's pretty decent. Gold, gold, and gold. These packs were ass. All right. That's kind of how I... I kind of saw it going that way. Not going to lie. That's typically how my packs. That's that's just that sums up packs for me as a Madden player in my career. I get lucky in other ways, but packs never really been it. Sadly, but that's kind of the case for me. Now, guys, I think that wraps with the 8 a.m. offers. Remember, you still have the 12 p.m., the 4 p.m., the 8 p.m., and the midnight. I actually, do we have another midnight? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's go check the Blitz offers. We do have the final one. No, that's it. We don't think we have another midnight. Do we? Oh, we do. We do. We do. Oh, it was always 8 a.m. tomorrow. Is that what I'm reading here? 12, 12, 3 at 8 a.m. Okay, so we have we have the final packs tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow morning. But that is about it as a whole. All right, so that's not horrible. That's decent. We still have some time on those, which isn't too bad, quite honestly. 
But that's about it for the Blitz. So today, expect your final offers. And then tomorrow morning at 8, expect the last video on these offers. Then we get back to we get back to normalcy. Regular videos, regular programs. Start preparing for the start preparing for Christmas. Start building our coins up again, guys. That is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, button, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below what you thought of the Blitz up to now. And make sure to hit that like button, boys. Can we get 150 likes on this morning video? That's about it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.